Something that I read recently that really resonated with me was kids make you lose your shit but they're also the reason you keep it together. So I love that, because that's my life 24-7. To have your own family, you're always being approached by these little ones that, that love you, and so they're, you know, they, they want you to be happy and you want them to be happy, and uh, it's, it's always a good feeling. Everett is Everett John Q. Ibach. He's our firstborn. He came into the world super early, scared the shit out of us. We were so petrified. And he has turned out to be the sweetest, kindest, caring kid ever. Everett is a very happy kid. When I pick him up from school, he's like the first one that runs out of the classroom. He uh, like sprints out of there full speed, smiling, laughing. All the teachers say he's just the happiest kid. He's so thoughtful and he's outgoing. He is a caretaker, which I love about him. And then Vivi is Vivi Ray Lee Ibach. She's our second crazy middle child. She is a firecracker. I love everything about her. She's fiercely independent. She doesn't take shit from anyone. She stands her own. She will look you in your eyes and look through to your soul. She's also so sweet and, you know, she'll cuddle up with you the next second. So um, she's a wild card. Tilly is Tilly Wilder Lee Eibach. She is our third baby. She's easygoing, a good sleeper, good eater. So far, Tilly's just so sweet and she seems pretty easygoing so far. We're still learning about her, but um, I'm kind of hoping third baby is, is a very uh, just easygoing and uh, go with the flow type kid. We'll see. I just love looking at her and spending time with her. You can't relive that moment and seeing them all together for the first time was unbelievable because you look at your children and you realize how different they are and yet you made them all with your partner and it's crazy to see their different personalities and their different traits but they all love each other so much and they all just interact so well together and that's all you can hope for is that they'll depend on each other for the rest of their lives can i have a hug i miss you are you behaving for harmony yeah you are you learn day by day that, you know, there's good days and bad days, but they're going to actually figure it out on their own more than you can imagine and just kind of have to sit back and let that happen. I think they love her. I mean, Everett is overly affectionate. Vivi is a little bit too rough with her, but they have not shown any signs of anything other than love, so we're, we're happy. <laughs> My favorite thing about being a parent is just seeing the new things they do from day to day. I'm always kind of blown away. Like yesterday, Everett was spelling his name. And then we looked over at Vivi, and she was spelling her name, which is a little bit easier to spell. It's V-I-V-I, -I, but she was saying V-I-V-I. -I. I was like, how does she know how to spell her own name? It's, uh, it's crazy. My favorite thing about being a parent is I mean, honestly, it's just seeing how you can make three kids that are so different and they all interact with me and Matt so differently and seeing that on a day-to-day -day basis, I love that. And they teach me and Matt so much about things that are so basic like patience and love and understanding and kindness that you never really can learn from anyone other than your own children because <laughs> they test you every day. But the fact that you're resilient enough to be a good parent every day, and that's a conscious choice that we make, I think is my favorite thing about being a parent. One of the big reasons we want to have a big family is because I want them to be able to rely on each other when we're gone one day. I just want them to be able to express themselves in whatever way they want and know that we will always be here for them and love them. I want them to be themselves. I want them to be independent. I want them to still have empathy and care about other people and you know, hopefully make the world a better place. Um, I want them to all kind of look up to each other in different ways and, and, and grow from there. The advice I would give them is to always follow their gut and their instinct and just try and stay true to themselves. That will take you to where you're meant to go in life and I think give you the most happiness in life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Seeing your husband become a father for the first time, you learn so much about each other. And he has like exceeded every expectation by far because he's so patient and kind with them. And I think any ounce of just like the loving, kind characteristics that all of her kids have, they definitely get that from Matt. She is superwoman. <laughs> I don't know how she does it. It's, it's pretty amazing to watch, yeah. I'm very, <laughs> very lucky. I just want to always make sure that they know that I love them so much, no matter how many kids we have, no matter what's going on in their day or our days, that they are truly the light of our lives, regardless of anything and anybody else.